hello, Facebook family. Camera is a little. That's for the angle. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to say good morning, happy Sunday. I am uh, actively doing some stuff to make the environment better. I shouldn't have uh, purchased anything that had these stupid rings anyways, but I uh, at least try to do my part when I do purchase these stupid things. Uh, wish I could just leave them at the store, really, honestly, and take them off. Uh, anyways, don't want any birds to get hurt by this, because speaking of birds, I accidentally hit and ran over a bird yesterday. It looked like a duck, but it had longer legs than a duck's, and it was brown, and so I don't think it was a goose. Even though I know geese can be brownish gray, it just, it didn't look like a goose, and it didn't, it looked closer to a duck with the, the shade of brown it was, uh, like longer neck and longer legs. I just don't know what kind of bird it was. I feel horrible. Uh, I couldn't swerve around it. The Amazon van in front of me swerved around it and missed it, but there was one it's like there were two of them. There was one in the road, and then the other one was to the right. So I couldn't swerve to the left because of vehicle, and I couldn't swerve to the right because I would have hit both the ducks or and you know birds, whatever they were. Uh, and and it really started my day off horribly with driving yesterday. I just did not want to drive anymore after that. I just felt horrible. <sighs> It's one thing to hurt an animal on purpose, but to, you know, I, I couldn't do anything about it, and I still feel terrible, uh, so I'm just trying to process my feelings over that, it's just, poor thing. I, I tried the best I could not to hit it with my wheel, I tried to center on it, so hopefully I could miss it, but I did, I did feel a thump, and so I know I hit it. I, uh, poor thing, I just don't know, uh. If it would have succumbed to the injuries, how, however bad it was, uh, I tried to minimize it the best I could, and that's all I can do. I, I have to let it go, uh, but still, I'm I'm sad that I I hurt an animal and I I couldn't do anything to avoid it. I could I don't know what I could have done better uh, without having caused any major accident. And come to find out, there were lots of accidents on I-5 yesterday. It was pretty insane. Uh, driving conditions weren't ideal. I mean, I ended up in an animal, and then later that day, I had to go back out across town, across Salem, and then I had some angry person right behind me tailing me. I was trying to get over into the right lane from the far left because I don't have much time to merge over, and traffic was crazy. And so whenever things are like that, I just kind of slow down and take my time and safety first. And, you know, everybody's just angry drivers out there and somebody was laying on their horn and it was so traumatizing for me. I've had so many car accidents. I just, it's fight or flight response now, but, you know, my reactions have been really decent with the exception of hitting that bird. Uh... I, I've had some horrible experiences over the last six months driving. Uh, I almost hit some pedestrians in the dark because they were wearing black and I was blinded by headlights looking at me. And so I almost hit some pedestrians and as I slammed on the brakes, they jumped back because I was close, but I wasn't that close. But I'm like, it scared me enough I mean, so, and it scared those pedestrians enough. Um, and at the same time as this happened and as, as I was slamming on my brakes to prevent from hitting these people in front of me because these blinding headlights were right here in my eyeballs, like right here. No wonder they were stopped because they were pedestrians, but I didn't see shadows. I didn't see anything. All I saw was blinding light and these people were crossing and they were dark clothes, black clothes. So, I mean, uh, the conditions were right for things to go wrong. Um, but I have a guardian angel or I have something, I have God looking over me because I slammed on my brakes in time. I did not hit them. Uh, but at the same time, somebody was trying to turn left and they had to slam on their brakes, laying on their horn at me. Like, I had the right of way. I had no stop. I was supposed to just go straight. But due to the pedestrian stopping, you know, they were trying to, like, get in in front of me or something because they were in a bigger hurry. I don't know. What, I don't know why people drive the way they do. But I know the reasons behind why I had a problem because I couldn't see. It was like black and these headlights were blinding the hell out of me. And I couldn't see anything. Thank goodness I avoided the accident. Uh, thank goodness, even though they were like trying to lay the blame on me and screaming their horn at me, 
uh, I froze up, you know, I, I reacted appropriately for the situation, I feel like, because I avoided everything. However, that other car getting angry at me because I was trying, I had the right of way and I had to go, I was going straight and they were turning left. So why would they, I don't, I just don't understand their thinking on why they were trying to turn when I had no stop. They were on a side street. I was on a main street, but there were crosswalks. Uh, I don't know why they thought that they should try and go at the same time I was going. Uh, it obviously wasn't safe. Uh. For me to even go and i shouldn't have even gone i should have just stopped and tried to assess the situation a lot better for this for what it was uh just you never know how you're going to respond in situations until you go through them and it scared the daylight out, daylight out of me for i don't know a good half hour the adrenaline dump was just crazy i was just so shaky and <sighs> I'm so glad so glad that nothing bad happened but yeah, that was just, that's an example of just how crazy people have been driving lately. And, uh, you know, accidents do happen. And whether it, you're you're in control of yourself, I mean, driving is a serious thing. <laughs> I understand why my nephew doesn't want to drive. <laughs> he is 21 years old and my nephew just does not want to drive. And, you know, just because of these recent traumatic experiences of near misses, like, it, it humbles me. It really does humble me, and, and I'm just so thankful that I do have good de do good defensive driving techniques because of all my accidents I've been in. Like, I am so traumatized by certain things, <laughs> and even to this day, I hesitate a little bit too much, and I need to be a little bit more aggressive of a driver because I need to match my environment of driving that I'm in. Uh, I need to be able to adapt. Uh, but thank goodness I still have a reasonable reaction time. Uh, I've been in a lot of close calls lately. And with the, you know, with the accident yesterday and the weather. And it just starting off bad with an animal. And then when I went to pick up my nephew. Coming back full circle with this whole nephew thing. Uh, yeah, I, was, I had that car riding their horn at me. Uh, and so it brought back a, my flood of emotions from all these recent experiences. And... It just, I was so just not happy about driving anywhere yesterday. I, I, I'm like, these are signs. These are reasons why I need to stay home uh, because people are acting a fool and weather does cause a factor in how you drive. So just my little bit of a, I'm trying to still process all this and I'm here. Nothing happened. But people, seriously, road rage is that needs to go away. It it's it does not do any good for anybody involved. Uh, uh, you have to be a good defensive and aggressive tri driver at times, and it's being able to uh, adapt to that environment and keep going, keep going, and be th thankful that you know things went the way they are. I I definitely feel like I have uh, somebody looking over me right now. Uh, I have much work to do. It's not my time. It's not my time to have anything, any more setbacks. <laughs> I set myself up back enough of my procrastinating, like, <laughs> these are the signs telling me I need to keep going. This is the reason why I have had such good karma and aura lately. I just, it, it takes going through things to really, really just humble you, a person. I'm really thankful that I'm still here and I'm not super more injured than I already am and with my chronic illness and diseases and crap I gotta deal with daily and my chronic pain. Like I just don't need any more of that right now. <laughs> but right now what I do need to do is take care of my head, take care of my heart, take care of my body, take care of myself. Just like all of you need to. This is a, you know, another gentle reminder, gentle hugs, just take care of you. You are what's important. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Don't worry about what that person thinks of you. Don't worry about being judged. If it's inevitable, we all have our own un subconscious uh, biases. And it's becoming, a, you just have to become aware of your biases and just uh, take control of it yourself. You take and you hold your emotions to you, and you learn how to deal with you. 
don't deal with anybody else's toxic crap. It's just not worth it. <laughs> it's just not worth it. Uh, but be able to sit there and process your emotions regarding any situation is the biggest gift of all that I'm giving you and giving myself. Take the time that you need to process what you've been through over the last couple of days or weeks or months. Take the time to really feel those emotions, good or bad or whatever. Give yourself the time. It's very important. Self-care, mental health. Take care of you. You can't help anybody else if you can't take care of yourself. You have to help yourself first. So, if you're not in a position to be helping anybody, including yourself, you really do need to take the time to sit back and reflect and think about things. Uh, you're, you're worth it. You're worth it to yourself. Just practice it. Practice it every day. I'm, I am. I'm practicing it by doing these videos and helping myself be accountable to it. Uh, and it's also a great video journal. And, you know, if I can inspire others to do better, be better, have at it. Because this is what I'm trying to do. Inspire others to do what they need to do to help themselves. And if you need to just make videos yourself, I encourage you. I think you should. It's really helping my self-esteem and helping me feel better. So, I don't know. You never know until you try. And, yeah, I'm just going to post this as is. Even though it's almost 12 minutes again. I love you all and uh, have a happy Sunday.